This morning, no change for Ashland transients. I had to do what I had to do, and that's uh, uh, find places to sleep at night. The city voted Tuesday to keep its current law, which bans camping outside of designated areas, a law that doesn't bode well with the city's large homeless population. This is an important message. Homeless protesters have been rallying for weeks for the right to sleep and camp where they want. Wednesday, they're quiet, but not much has changed. I, I camp every night. I never get tickets. Transients we spoke with say they'll continue to camp outside the lines. There's plenty of in-between spots that, uh, that can be utilized that aren't being utilized at nighttime as long as you, you know, are being responsible with it. Homeless don't want a designated area. Residents feel differently. I don't think it's acceptable to just go ahead and live freely and say, I'm going to just, you know, choose to live up in the forest. Um, they need to be in a place where there's proper services available. Business owners are butting heads, some sick of transients in the plaza area. Even city leaders well. continue to be at odds. Transients pointing out a sign in outgoing councillor Eric Navikas's office window. It says, Free Zero. The homeless leader behind the protest and they think it's Navikas' way of supporting their cause. In this seemingly harmonious town of Ashland, it seems the homeless issue is one that's divided city leaders, citizens, business owners. But one thing seems to be clear in it all. It's an issue that won't be going away here anytime soon. Anne McCloy, NBC5 News.